Hello guys, welcome back to my channel VFX Expert. So guys, in this today's class, we are going to see camera plus object tracking inside 3D equalizer. So mainly we will focus on our object tracking inside 3D equalizer with moving camera. So now we are inside 3D equalizer and this is a sort here. So simply just we have to play and check. So this is a sort here. So this car object just we have to track inside 3D equalizer. So before this, we have to also track our camera for this sort here. So for camera tracking, I have already created many videos. So for this sort, I am not going to track camera because I have already tracked camera for this sort. Only just we will track this car object and we will do lineup inside 3D equalizer. So now if you will see, so left side in our this, this is our actually camera group. So for this sort, just I have tracked this camera and also I have line up this camera inside 3D equalizer. And this is our camera solve. So you can see, so this is our camera solve. So simply just you can track your camera inside 3D equalizer. So this is our first group. So because for camera plus object tracking inside 3D equalizer, so if camera is moving, so first we have to track our camera, then we have to track our object. Now just I am going to track our this car object. So for this, just we have to create another group. So then right click on this uh, group and just click on add new and point group. So this is our uh, group 4 or you can say second group and right side in identifier just simply you can give name. So car object. Then group point type. So if you will see, this is showing here object because first group by default this showing camera. Then second group if you will create, so this will automatically switch to this object here. So now just type created over this second group, whichever this object group. Then after this we have to activate this group because if you will see this color orange means this active group. So now we have to track our object. So we have to also after creating your this object group we have to also activate this group so simply just you can double click or just simply you can right click and just click on set current point group so this will automatically set this group as a current group here so now just we have to create some points on our this car objects here or on our this car so again just we have to click on this manual tracking controls just we have to create some points so just hold control and just click and just create a track points and just properly just we have to track this point even just first time going to track this point then pattern size and pattern area just you can adjust then downside you will get this track option so simply if you want to track frame by frame then you can click on this forward tracking and this is backward tracking so for a camera tracking or for 2d tracking i have already created many videos so please watch my all videos before starting this video so now just I'm going to track this point. So just simply if you want you can just click on track. So just click on this slow. So this will little bit go slower. So usually just we can focus or just you can track frame by frame also. So simply just we can click and just we can track. So first point just I have tracked. Now just I'm going to track second point. So just click here. And just create another point. Even just you can also check this center 2D so it reaches we can focus on over this point. So now you can see our axis. So like this just we have to track many points on over this car here. So here I have already tracked points for this car. So now suppose if you want to import or export your 2D points or tracking point from 3D equalizer then simply if you want to export your point then select all these points then right click and click on export 2D track. And just simply you can select your folder. So now here I have already tracked some points. So now just I am going to import. So just delete all these points. So now again just uh, right click on this group here. So because I have already deleted points. So there is no any point. So just open this one and just right click on this points or point group. This one then click on import to the track. And just file name and just select your saved file. So you can see these are actually 2D points for this car. Now always create new point. So now if you will see 
So these points just I have for this car object. So you can see, so same point just I have whatever just I have explained. So now after this, just we have to solve our this object track. Now simply we can click on calc, calc all from scratch. So this is actually uh, just object solve divisions here. So now if you will press 5, 5 means just line up control view or line up control panel. So simply as you can see now you will see. So this is actually object solve here. So after the just I am going to import a 3D model and just we will do line up inside 3D equalizer. So for this just we have to disable all these points here. So simply just we can select the right click, modify then calculations. So just disable. Even you can also hide from this viewer here. Now just I am going to import our 3D model. Then right click on the 3D model. So remember this one. Now I am inside this object group. Okay. So right click, import, and just select your OBJ file. So this is actually car model. So simply if you want to check inside Maya, so you can see this is actually car model. So one more important thing here, this car model eject not same as inside this, this car. So this is just only for reference I am taking. So first you have to create a proper model according to your object, maybe car or bike. Then after this you have to export as OBJ object from Maya, then you have to import inside 3D equalizer. So remember this one, this is actually not same model, but still just I am going to uh, import inside 3D equalizer and we will do lineup inside 3D equalizer. So simply just you can select, then you can click on file, then export selection and just you can save this OBJ files. So from drop down, just you have to select this OBJ extension and just simply you can give file name. So here I have already saved, so now just I am going to import inside 3D equalizer. So now we are inside 3D clear, then simply right click on the 3D model, then import OBJ file. So this is actually OBJ file. Now just we have to click on import. Then after this we have to open the 3D model folder, just select the 3D model, then right side just you have to also click on this. It is a friends folder. So this will not heavy inside 3D clear. So now if you will go to this 3D oriented control, so you can see this is actually car model. Okay. Now again come inside lineup view here. So you, you can also see, so now first click on the center model. So this will center your model. Now just simply we have to do lineup. So hold shift and left mouse button. So just simply just you can orbit, then hold shift plus middle mouse button. You can pan and hold shift and right mouse button. Just you can zoom in, zoom out. So remember this one here, just I am doing lineup. I am not moving this car object. So just we have to do lineup. So again remember this one guys, this is not a proper 3D model as reference here. So just you can see this is not a proper car model. So maybe this will not match proper, but still just I am going to try to match. So I'll just create some lineup point. So downside you will get this stacked vertex and just simply just you can create some lineup point. So again hold control and just click here. So this will just create lineup point. So you can see this one. So if you will try to match all these maybe side mirror here, so this will not match maybe uh, these tires or like this, okay. But still little bit just I am going to try to match. Now just create some other lineup points. First just we have to click on the stacked vertex and just hold control and just click here. So now hold alt and just click then hold control and just click so this will create another lineup point. Even maybe one more here. So delete this lineup point. So again, just uh, store this pose. So again, remember this one here. Just I am creating all these lineup points. Now just delete all these lineup points and again just create a new point. So first layer just say store our pose here. So 
so now downside you will get this red key mean this is actually just i have stored our pose at this frame which was the starting frame here then after this just we have to delete all these lineup points here simply so first properly you have to create a 3d model according to a reference then easily just you can match inside 3d equalizer so now after this just i am going to project point whatever point just i have tracked on our this 3d model here so for this again just we have to select all these points then right click then go to modify and just we have to calculation and just enable all these points active and also just unhide from our the display area so now easily just we can see over all these points here so now just select this maybe this point maybe point one then go to this edit and project point on 3d model even just you can also define shortcut whatever shortcut you like just simply you can define so project point on 3d model so one point successfully projected so like this just we have to project points one point this one here so simply just you can select this one So maybe minimum uh, four points just I projected here. Then after this, we have to solve this object motion here. So again, press Alt C and a huge result here. So now just we have to play and check our this object quality here. So now you can see. So this object is just following according to our this reference car object here. So if you will create maybe properly a 3D model, so exact just you can match according to a reference here. And remaining things just you can also adjust, but maybe I think this is looking good here. So after this, if you want, you can just simply export this uh, tracking data from 3D Cryo to Maya. Then uh, you can also do remaining thing inside Maya. So just fast, just I'm going to export. So again, just I stop it here. So first, here just save this, save this project. Now, just I am going to export this a camera track with our this object track. So here I have created uh, these two group. So one group which is uh, for camera, and second group which is for this object here. So now, if you will click on this 3D orientation control, so simply click on this view and so image pane and just hide this one. So inside this, you will get these actually two groups here so first group this is our actually object group so this one so just uh, open this one 3d model and select and just hide this one so just 3d model and so and hide so you can see so this is our actually uh, object group and this is our camera group here you can see this group this is actually just object group and, and now if you will play so you can see this is our actually object group so now again just we have to click on the 3d orientation and just we have to go to this lineup view here again just enable this one so now after this just i am going to export over this camera track so again just we have to click on 3d4 then export project and just we have to click on maya and just select our folder so again this maya folder and just you can give a short name any name just you can give Project successful exported. So now after this, just we have to also export over this uh, 3D model here. So again, just we have to go to inside this. Maybe just uh, go to this uh, 3D orientation control panel and just uh, click on 3D model. Then export 3D model as a OBJ. So first we have to select. Even if you want, you can just uncheck. Now inside this Maya, so just I'm going to save car from 3D. Now just we have to click on OK. So now just we have to import all these data inside Maya. So now we are inside Maya. So first we have to import our tracking data, which just I've exported from 3D Equalizer. So for this we have to click on File, Import. And just select your file which just you have exported from 3D Equalizer. So inside this folder, this is our actually Maya folder. So this uh, file or mail file just I have exported from 3D Equalizer. So just we have to select and just we have to click on import. Then we have to click on panels and just uh, select this camera view here. 
So now if you will uh, play uh, inside Maya, so you will see actually this image plane or image sequence is not playing here. So if you are facing this problem maybe, so for this I have already created a video. So simply just you can convert your footage and again just you can relink inside Maya. So link I have given in description. So again just open Outliner and just select your this camera. You can go to Attribute Editor, Image Plane and just simply just you can replace. So again simply same footage just I have relinked again here. So now if you will uh, play so uh, this sequence or image plane also playing inside Maya. Then after this we have to import our uh, 3D model. Then again we have to click on file import and just select uh, this model which just I have exported from 3D equalizer and just we have to import. So you can see this one then maybe frame 34 this is properly matched here. After this what we have to do so this is actually a 3D model so now this is not moving according to this curve. So what we have to do? So simply just we have to select the 3D model and just we have to paste into over this object group here. So simply just select and just drag and drop. So hold middle mouse button and just drag and drop into this object group. So this will actually car model inside this object group here. So now just select this camera and just define this near and far clip play. So now if you will play and check so this 3d model is just moving according to our footage car here and this is just matching here so now again come inside 3d equalizer so guys till here i have completed over this class so if you like this video please watch share comment and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribe my channel so thanks for watching